printing in classrooms and labs at TSCT. Most printers are already set up for you on the Stevens network, but in case they aren't, um, there's a pretty easy way to do this. If you start a browser window, an Internet Explorer browser window, and you pull down the favorites from the top right hand side, I'll assume you know how to do this, uh, you'll see that there are a bunch of sh favorites that are already defined. One happens to be TSCT network printers and if you select that that's where we're going to start out. From the window that appears you're going to want to select or click on the link for the printer that you want to add. Just click the link you have to figure out which printer it is that you're going to add and it's going to go to the next window. In the next window that appears you're going to want to find the connect link on the left hand side of the page under the printer action buttons and you're going to you're going to click this and it's going to finish uh, its connection by going out to the network to see if it can find the printer and define it for you after the connection it's going to verify that you actually want to add a printer and you're just going to click yes in the window that comes up to do this the next window that appears after you do this actually tells you you're done defines the printer that you've set up and actually puts an entry in the queue for it and if we go to the printer queue section again you actually see that the printer that you've defined shows up as a nice little icon and it's ready for you to print might be some other setup things but at this point we're not gonna get into those details Sometimes when you're printing documents you have printer problems like the printer ran out of paper, something else happened to it that it can't print the files. And a lot of times students are in a new environment or not used to having a bunch of people send to a printer. The, uh, the files start to uh, back up in the queue and people keep on printing and once you fix a printer everything comes out 10 times and that's not what you want to do. So very quickly we're going to show you how to deal with printer queues in Windows 7. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go over here to the start button and I'm going to select devices and printers. And up will come a list of devices. This will be different for your machine. This is how it's set up for my machine at home. The printer I'm dealing with is an HP LaserJet 1020. That's what I have defined, so I'm going to double click that. And I'm also going to go in here and say Display Print Queue. I'm going to select the printer, the same printer that I did, click OK. And this is a print queue for the printer. I've removed the paper from the device. You can see that these files are waiting to be printed. Now, I was the one who put these files in there, so I could select this right click it and say cancel and say yes and eventually it would remove that document from the print queue um, there's all kinds of uh, it takes a while to do this you can see that it changed its status to deleting and it's working on that they don't print it right away once again I also could do the same thing here select the file do cancel or delete same thing as it's deleting and it removed that from the queue right away because that's not the one that it was trying to print to the printer. And this is how you would work with the uh, problems with files in a queue rather than you just keep on dumping the same page in there 15 times and wasting paper when you, you fix the issue. One thing to note is that you can only delete or remove files that you put in there other people have to do the same thing. Um, it's a privilege thing on the computer, so you can't delete their files. And that should help you fix and deal with printer problems.